Hey, this is Brian Stevens with eXp Realty. I hope you're having a great day. I am with the Realtors of Faith. We are a group with eXp that is a community of followers of Jesus and real estate agents. In other words, if you're a Christian, new Christian, Christian 30 years, you really maybe not even a Christian, but you consider yourself a person of faith and you're a real estate agent, you wanna grow in your faith and you wanna grow as a real estate agent, this is a group for you. I hope this video will add value to you as you thrive to be a stronger believer and a better real estate agent. Let me tell you something, we need more Christian real estate agents in our marketplace, right? Can you like or comment on that below? Because I know we do after 27 years in this business, and here's the thing, I love Jesus and I love real estate, and that's the reason we're doing this group. But after 27 years in this business, I can tell you it is amazing working with realtors who know what they're doing and that are people of faith. It's just, it's really cool. It's not always a perfect deal, not always a perfect transaction because it's people and it's real estate, right? But I can tell you there's just something about it that just kind of brings things together in just a stronger way. I've seen God work in so many deals like that um, through the tough times, through the good times and the bad times. So. Today I wanna to do this. I wanna give you three things that are super important as a Christian real estate agent, okay? And let's just get right to them. Here they are. Number one, and what I believe is that one of the most important things, the foundational truths, is integrity and honesty. I have that a lot of my marketing that I do whenever I go on a listing appointment, act with integrity and honesty. It's just huge, it's everything. The scripture in Proverbs 11, one says, the Lord detests dishonest scales, but accurate weights find favor with him. Look at that scripture, it says the Lord detests dishonest scales, meaning dishonesty. You know, God can't stand lies, right? It's one of the things he can't stand, he hates. And the word detests is pretty strong in that, so God detests dishonest scales. He can't stand it when we're not honest with people. Um, and when we're honest with people, when we act with integrity, with your clients, it's amazing what God will do with your real estate business. Again, been doing this a long time and I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly when we're either operating in that spirit or those that don't. And this includes disclosing any pertinent information about homes that you're showing and just being truthful in all your transactions because when you build a reputation for integrity, it doesn't only honor God, but it also builds trust with your, your clients, uh, your clients in the marketplace, those that you've worked with and those that you haven't yet worked with, and your colleagues. Let me tell you something, one of the things that people don't talk about enough is having a good reputation with the real estate agents in your area. I'm right here in Lakeland, Florida, Central Florida, right between Tampa and Orlando, right in the middle. We're 45 minutes to Tampa, we're 60 minutes or so to Orlando, it depends on how I-4 is, and that's another story in itself. But so um, right here in Lakeland, we're in Polk County, Florida, but Lakeland's the biggest city. Probably there's over a thousand agents or so in this area. And one of the things that I tell a lot of my business partners is, is you cannot put a value on having a good name and a good reputation with the agents that are in your marketplace. It goes so far. I will tell you from personal experience, when I have been in a multi-offer situation that in my business partner also, Russ, when we've been in a multi-offer, it's amazing how uh, God finds favor with us. Um, in, in, if, if there's five offers, everything being very close, very equal, super right there, how agents have said to myself and said to my business partner, uh, made nice compliments and saying, I know I'm working with you and I believe it's gonna get done right and you're gonna get it done and make it happen and, and whatever, elaborated on that. So it's, and it's God's favor because of how we've done business in the past. And here's the thing, we're not perfect agents. We make mistakes, we goof up, we go through selfish moments, we battle the same things as everybody else does, right? We're all, we're all sinners saved by grace and so we're all face the same thing, but do we choose integrity? Do we choose honesty? Honesty? Do we choose to take the high road? So important in this marketplace, in any marketplace you're in. So number one, super important, integrity and honesty 
is everything, okay? Number two is this, service and compassion. The scripture in Philippians chapter two, verses three and four says this, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Meaning, don't just think about us, think about other people. And I can tell you as a real estate agent, uh, a lot of us are egocentric, we're self-driven, we're entrepreneurs, we gotta be go-getters. You know, when, when we have the spirit of humility, humility from Christ, uh, then we actually try to serve other people rather than ourselves. It's amazing what God does with that, right? Jesus uh, himself says that he came what? He came to serve, not to be served. So when we have the same attitude as Jesus, we say, God, I want to act as your agent, as your, uh, not no pun intended, as your person, as your voice, as your eyes and your ears in the marketplace. And I wanna serve other people with a heart of compassion. And I wanna serve like you would want me to serve. It's amazing what God does. He'll bring people in your life, believers, non-believers, people that are tough to work with, people that are amazing to work with in your life that you can serve them. And uh, it, it's just neat, the stories, the testimony, testimonies I've got of God bringing people into my life that allow me to serve them, that other people may have not helped and worked with, and those that have just been such a blessing to work with that have touched my faith as I've worked with them. But when we have that, it's a daily dying to ourself, right? We daily have to go, Jesus, I'm waking up today, I'm in the real estate business, I'm a believer, I'm a follower of Jesus, Help me to serve those that you put in my path today, Lord, uh, to your glory and to your honor and to your praise. Help me to do that. Help me to have eyes that can see, ears that can hear, a mouth that can speak positive words into the deals that, uh, the deals that I'm working with, the other realtors, the clients, the situations. Help me to, to serve in a compassion that would honor you, God. So when you, when you have that attitude of gratitude and you serve your real estate deals, your buyers and your sellers, your clients, like you're serving Jesus, uh, it's amazing what God does. Again, favor, anointing, blessing. Uh, it's amazing. It's, awesome. it's the way to do real estate. First, integrity and honesty. Number two, service and compassion. And the last one is this, is faith and dependence on God. So important to have your faith and your really dependence on God. And guys, it's an everyday thing, right? We wake up in the morning, we say, God help me. And the scripture for that is Matthew 6, 33. Many of you know it, but it's an amazing scripture. It says this, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you, right? Will be given to you as well. So seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. When we seek God first, when we seek his kingdom first, when we seek serving him first, God adds all these other things onto it. And so we wake up, we put our eyes on Jesus, we, put our, we fix our eyes upon Jesus, we put our faith and our dependence in him and not on ourselves. Because let me tell you something, I can mess up a deal quicker than you can imagine. So many times I've wanted to say, God, I wanna give him this piece of advice. I wanna have the last word. I wanna tell him this, I wanna tell him that. And God's like, you're my mouthpiece. Is that how you're going to talk? Think about that. Take a deep breath, Brian. Call him back. Wait 15 minutes. Don't rush and do that text that you just want to get. You want to say what you think. Here's how to handle this. Again, I don't always get it right. The man with prayer, with my faith, with, with me seeking the Lord, uh, it's amazing what he gives you. Okay? And I want to encourage you that too because when we trust God with our business, and we really seek his guidance in every single decision before we make that phone call that we have to tell somebody their financing did not get approved, before I have to call that seller that I had to do 60 days ago and tell them, I know you moved out of the house a day before closing, the buyer's financing fell through because of this lender didn't do his job or whatever the case may be, hint, hint. Those are tough phone calls to make, but when we do it with a heart of compassion and mercy, God gives us the words to do that. And so God, give me the words to, to help this person. And we pray for wisdom. We pray for direction. We pray for favor. And then whenever we're prioritizing our relationship with Christ and we're relying on his provision and his will, 
It helps us to navigate the challenges of the real estate market with a peace and a confidence that can only come from Jesus. So I hope this has helped you in your real estate business. My heart, my goal, my passion is to help other real estate agents in their faith, in Christ, and in their business. And this stuff is foundational. It has uh, helped me and my business partner and so many other real estate agents that I know that do a great job in this business, have an amazing business, and more importantly, an amazing life in Christ. So anyways, if uh, you'd like to catch up for a phone call and talk about eXp Realty, the Realtors of Faith, this group, comment below and uh, or message me direct. All my contact information is below. I'd love to have a conversation with you and tell you about our group that we meet every week on Zoom. We meet once a month here in the Central Florida area. And uh, eXp Realty is just, a, it's a great real estate company. Whole bunch on that. But anyways, God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.